Okay, so this is on Pear Deck assessments now instead of Edge Elastic. They are the same company, but this is what we're going to be doing. Find the missing length, round to the nearest tenth. Make sure that you remember that this nearest tenth and not hundredth. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So four squared plus eight squared equals C squared. So we have 16 plus 64 equals C squared. That's gonna get us a zero. That's gonna get us 80 is C squared. Take the square root of both sides of the equal sign. And we're gonna take the square root of 80 and get 8.9. Next one. Again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm going to take 10 squared plus 24 squared, and that's going to equal c squared. Or x squared, sorry about that. So 100 plus 576 is going to equal c squared. Six, did I do that right? I want to make sure I did 24 squared correctly. 576, yes. Okay, 676 is equal to c squared. I am going to take the square root of that, and I am going to get 26 is equal to c. Next one. I It tells me I have the legs, so a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 3 squared plus 14 squared equals c squared. So I have 9 plus 196 equals c squared. So that's going to get me a 5, 0, 2, 0, 5 is equal to c squared. I am going to take the square root of 205, and I'm going to get 14.3. Oh, this should be approximately. I totally messed that up up here. That should be approximately. Okay, next. Look at this. This is not a leg. That is the hypotenuse. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So x squared plus 8 squared is going to equal 16 squared. x squared plus 64 equals 256. I'm going to subtract 64 from both sides. I'm going to get x squared equals 192. And I'm going to take the square root of that. And I get x is approximately 13.9, and that's kilometers. Down here, it gives us our b and our c. So our a is what is missing. So I have a squared plus 144 equals 225. I'm going to subtract 144 from both sides and get a squared equals, that's a 1, uh, that's an 8, 81. Did I subtract that right? Making sure. Yes, I did. Take the square root of both sides and that will be 9. Here, again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I have one of the legs, so that's 6 squared. I have the hypotenuse, which is 9. So a squared plus 36 equals 81. I'm going to subtract 36 from both sides. Get a squared, 81 minus 36. It's going to get me 45. I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and I'm going to get A is approximately 6.7. Determine whether the given sides are a right triangle. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. The longest side is going to be what the C is, so it doesn't matter about the other two lengths. We need to know, are these equal to each other? I forgot the squared. So 81 plus 1,600 
equals 41 squared. Does that equal 1681? Ah, look at that, 1681 does equal 1681. So yes, it is a right triangle. Okay, again, the longest, oh, I didn't mean to go through the number. Longest side is gonna be what the hypotenuse would be. We, so 20 squared plus 22 squared, does that equal 29 squared? So 400, I think it's 484, but oops. Yep, 484. This one I do not know. 29 squared, I do not know. 841. This will get me 840. How about 884? That does not equal 841, so no, it is not a right triangle. This one. Is it a right triangle? So 16 squared plus 30 squared, does that equal 34 squared? So 250, nope, 256 plus 900, does that equal 34 squared? 1156. Well, that's a, look at that. They equal each other. So yes, this one, okay. So seven squared plus nine squared, does that equal 11 squared? So 49 plus 81, does that equal 121? So that's gonna get me a zero. That's 12, 130 does not equal 121. So no, it is not a right triangle. This one, this is the longest side. So 16 squared plus 12 squared, does that equal 20 squared? So 256 plus 144, does that equal 400? So that's a zero, that's a zero. It does equal 400. So yes, it is. It's actually a three, four, five triangle. Okay, the bottom of a ladder must be placed three feet from the wall. So I have a wall, I have a ladder. This is three feet from the wall. The ladder is 12 feet long. How far above the ground does the ladder touch the wall? So x squared plus three squared equals 12 squared. So x squared plus nine equals 144. I subtract nine from both sides. I get x squared, that's gonna be a five, 135. Did I do that right? 34 minus nine, just making sure. Yes, I did. And that's gonna get x is approximately 11.6 feet above the uh, above the ground okay the fireman needs to lean a ladder against the top of a house so we've got a house we got a ladder okay the house is 18 feet tall so this is 18 feet tall the bottom of the i think that's supposed to say ladder not letter rest 11 feet from the house so this is 11. how long is the ladder so 11 squared plus 18 squared equals x squared. Not a lot of room here. 11 squared, so that's 121 plus 18 squared. I can't believe I actually plugged those two numbers in. x squared, five, four, four equals x squared. So take the square root of 445. And I get 21.1 is approximately, oh, I forgot my foot, feet. Okay, Chris and Alicia are on honeymoon. They plan to go to a romantic dinner. They take a limousine five miles west. So we're going to go five miles west from their hotel and then 12 miles south. 
So one, two, three, four, five, and then down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so they just said it's five across, it's 12 down. So five squared plus 12 squared equals x squared. So 25 plus 144 equals x squared. So 169 equals x squared. So 13 miles, miles is equal to x. The restaurant is 13 miles away. How many miles was their drive from the hotel? So we just said that, 13 miles. After dinner, Chris surprises Alicia with a helicopter. Oh, 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 oh. Helps if you read the question, guys. If you're driving, guys, totally helps if you read the question. If you're driving, you can't just go through the town. You have to do 5 miles plus 12 miles. So that would get me 17 miles. Now, if they took the helicopter that this one is talking about and you have a direct path, that would be the 13 miles. How many miles shorter? So 17 minus 13, that would be four miles shorter. Sorry about that. So determine the distance between these two points. So six, negative two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, down two. And then negative five, one, two, three, four, five. And we go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so then I'm gonna draw. So this is nine tall, and this is 11 across. So nine squared plus 11 squared equals x squared or c squared. 81 plus 121 equals x squared. So that's a two, that's a zero, 202. So we're going to take the square root of 202, and 14.2 is what it is approximately. Here, I have negative 2, 1, and I have 1, negative 3, and we want to know the distance between these. Okay, so I draw a right triangle. One, two, three across. One, two, three, four up. So three squared plus four squared equals c squared. So nine plus 16 equals c squared. 25 equals c squared. So five is equal to c. There you go.